So obviously I'm James Montemagno, I'm a software engineer here at Seton. So obviously the first product that we're showing off is a uh, code name Seton Echo. Mm. And obviously you're really familiar with uh, Media Center and our product Infinity TV4 mm. today. So we have you know a lot, a lot of customers building home theater PCs today, adding Infinity mm. TV4s, USB or PCIe. And the biggest request from our customers was they needed a way to extend it through the household. So we came up with a solution. We listened to our customers and we want to help them as well. So we came up with our own media center extender, uh, which is the Seaton Echo. It's an extremely slim line, very sexy, very sleek piece of hardware. It's very firm. Uh, it's a great design. Uh, and we made it and designed it so it's you know very low profile. So it's you know not this glaring piece underneath your your television. So the idea is that you place you know, the Seton Echoes all throughout your house, and then you get the same media center experience, nearly the same media center experience, uh, on all of your television. So all of your music, movies, pictures, live television, recordings are everywhere through the house. Um, so, so, that is, so that is not a PC, that is an, an extender. It's a yeah. truly an extender, yeah. correct, yeah. Uh, and the back of it, you obviously have HDMI out. Uh, you also have gigabit ethernet in the back. And something we're including as well for uh, the Ethernet is module based. So if you have like a Mocha household where you want to run everything through coax, we have a Mocha module that you right, can so get. Yeah. So you can slide out the Ethernet, slide mm. in the Mocha module, and you're good to go. Mm. Which is really great. Yeah, it's really good, yeah. So, and it's like I said, it's extremely low power consumption in full mode in our testings. It's under 13 watts of power consumption, so in full, and that's not obviously including like standby. So that's like full watching, streaming, full HD 1080p video. Yeah, and of course, so you won't need your your cable box point wherever that wherever that unit is because it's an extender. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So like I said, you can put three of these throughout the house, and you can watch you know live television yeah. throughout all. And there's no tax, there's no extra fee for setting up these uh, additional echoes. Yeah, yeah. Besides the base price, so. Which is, we're not announcing at this time. And of course, with, with it using the, being an extender, you can you protect it with the premium content then the protected content. Yeah. Absolutely, that's the great part of it too. Is that you know with the Infinity TV four, we've really brought that premium cable television to the home theater PC mm. and unlocking you with the cable card, obviously. So now, yeah, you get that everywhere yeah. throughout your house. So if you just had a no, no PC, you just you don't you can't do that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Which is which is really fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And it's what our customers wanted, so we're delivering. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, and that in a nutshell is is the beginnings of what we'll show here mm. with the the seat and echo. So. So does that is that an extender that pairs up with the rest of your system, or is it a standalone device? I know it's an extender, but could you use that with another media sense system, or is it specific to your? No, no, it's not locked down at all. Right. So today, any of these is using any 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 tuner. Any anywhere mm. could use the Seaton Echo as is right. normal. So it's you know it's it's a normal uh, when paired alone with any home theater PC, any yeah. tuner, or even without a tuner because you could just get all your movies, yeah. music throughout the household as well. So apart from the the Xbox 360, and this is the only extender on the market. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Because we realized that there was extenders of the past, and, and we think right now is a great time to be introducing it into the market because yeah, the Xbox 360 is a great device. But you don't want three Xbox 360s. No. And, People know, want an ex a dedicated extender. It's been a, a demand for a while. And mostly for me, it's because it's dead silent. Yeah. You know, like I have an Xbox 360. I had an original one, and I feel bad people using that yeah. as an extender just because it's so loud. Yeah. The Slims are better, but you know, the Echo is silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So that's like the the first part of it, and then the second thing that we're really introducing is code name Seat and Q. Right. So that's this guy over here, okay, let's go over here. and I'll go ahead and uh, we'll talk about the device and I'll, I'll pull up the UI here. So what we have here is the the Seaton Q. So this is a ultimate home entertainment experience device, I guess, and in some way I've come up with a perfect name for it. But it does everything that you can Im imagine, really. So inside this box here, we have uh, a two terabyte hard drive, Blu-ray player. Right. In it, we also have a six tuner uh, uh, in it as well, so you can now record and, and watch six shows at a single right. time, which is fantastic. Which is important if you've got extenders. Exactly. Yeah. So you have all these extenders now, yeah. and now you can really you know yeah. extend them throughout the house because everyone wants more tuners because yeah. once you 
unlock premium cable television, there's just so much to record. Yeah. Obviously you still have Ethernet, and that same Mocha module that I was talking about on the Echo, it, it will work exactly the same on the, on the Q, mm. and it's just one, so we're not, you know, there's not a special one for each, it's the same module. Yeah. Not to confuse people. Uh, additionally, the gigabit Ethernet uh, in it as well, HDMI out, uh, DVI out, uh, optical, uh, USB 3.0, 2.0, and also eSATA okay. as well. So if you needed to extend storage or you know plug in, oh, you uh, can extend USB. it through that, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. So you know if you need a if you have an existing home theater PC and you wanted to transition as well, yeah. move things around. So your main experience here is familiar, but it, you know we're you can see it looks different, yeah. but it obviously looks completely different. Yeah. We uh, completely customize and theme, and we really think of it as. The Seaton Q software, you know, mm. it's it's custom things that we're doing. You know, we're software developers. We're not just throwing hardware together. We're customizing the entire experience. So, besides the custom theming and icons that you see here, just on the Q, we've also allowed our users to customize it as well. So, we'll include multiple themes, and we'll mm. show you another one in a second. But we'll also have a companion application for Windows. That will allow you to completely customize the look and feel. Oh, right, from yeah, from a Windows machine. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, which is really fantastic because not everyone, you know, we can only think what we think looks amazing. Yeah. And we think it looks great, but obviously every consumer, and we really want that customizable experience. But what, well. what we're talking here, though, is not this is not a uh, a PC. It's this not is a PC. an entertainment system, a dedicated entertainment system built on the media center platform. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's built. From the ground up, there's so no desktop. So it's a consumer no. device rather than a, a PC. Yeah. Exactly, it is a complete consumer device. Yeah. yeah, there's no desktop. You're not, you know, it's, it's the that ultimate home entertainment device with DVR mm. capabilities all in one. Because yeah. you still get all your music, movies, television, uh, pictures, and videos, uh, and all those great features. And we can leverage the great features that are in Media Center today. Yeah with all the recording, the guide data, everything like that. Hmm. So like if I go into one other feature we like to show off as well, uh, is coming in and scheduling recordings, <clears throat> obviously. You get that same great feel, but what you'll get is you get little LED notes. Oh, I can see that, yeah. So that's showing you your recording, yeah. Showing your recording. So at a glance at any hmm. time you can see uh, yeah. tuners that are in use and being recording. And here, obviously, things uh, light up. Oh, and this, nice. is in, this is in demo mode right now. Um, but obviously, we know that a lot of people watch movies and TVs, and that's obviously a, sometimes in a dark experience. Yeah. So, you know, these are not going to be on all the time. Right. You so, can, yeah. um, and there's a you know proximity sensor that we have. So it's it's when you right. get close. Is oh, when that's it a really up. good idea. Yeah. So we thought about how we wanted it and how we yeah. would expect it to be used. Yeah, which absolutely. Is really yeah. great. So there's a whole lot more that we're obviously not showing today, mm. uh, and we'll kind of demo in a little bit on some other con more connected devices, but you can expect not only the base things that you've seen today, but more internet content, expanded universal searching that we've kind of talked about, and a discoverability, which we'll kind of demo in a bit mm. as well. So there's a lot more to it than just that. So all your you know streaming and, and yeah. you know content from all over the internet as well, we're going to be bringing together. Right, yeah. So which is great. Hmm. So with that though, because since we're doing all that and we kind of really own this experience, we have another Echo over here to demo as well. And the cool thing about this is that when we talked about Echo as a standalone today for anybody that is using uh, a home theater PC with Infinity TV or any other cable yeah. card as well. However, when you pair the Echo with the Q, we extend all those capabilities, so that premium streaming content and also that theming as well. So if I go ahead and bring this over, let me go ahead and exit out of the guide, you can see what we've right. done here is there's a theme here on the, on the Q, but we've made it so you can actually make it a theme for each device. Oh, that's the, yeah. So what's cool with this is you think you have a son or a daughter, right? Your son's mm. really into Call of Duty, you know, and you put an Echo up in his bedroom. You just create your own Call of Duty theme or someone online makes a Call of Duty theme. And you can right ahead put that on his Echo upstairs. So it's a personalization. It really feels yeah. like it's, it's your device, which is really great. Yeah. So, but you still get all that same rich functionality. So now you've really unlocked the potential of 
that streaming content and all those features that we have on the queue with all the base functionality that you get with the standard uh, extender as well. So we really like to consider, like I said, a next generation media center yeah. extender. So you get all those great you know, features of V1 like you have today in an Xbox 360 hmm. as well. So this Echo and the Echo that I showed before, exactly the same Echo. They're not anything special, you know yeah. what I mean? That's not like a V1, V2, yeah. they're the same Echo, it's just when you pair it with the Q, you get all those great features as well, which is really great. And it looks very smooth as well, and as, you, as you're going around through the guide and everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've played with the, the previous generation of, of extenders, and they, they didn't have that kind of fluid feel that um, that Media Center does on its own. So, but so this looks definitely like the, it's a, a big improvement on the on the, sort of the older device. Yeah, and the great part is coming out around this time is just you know the the hardware is there for us to really leverage yeah. the capabilities with the price and everything. Uh, you know. As, as things progress, everything gets faster and cheaper, and it, it's, yeah. it's, it's great for us as well. Yeah, you know, that's we, really we can, nice. We can really make a great experience, you know, that's what we're, yeah. we're really about, about here. And it's really, I mean, it's really small and neat, the device, so it's great under a TV. Yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, take a look at actually the hardware, it's, you know, this is nice, it's aluminum hardware, it's not kind of low-cost plastic, it's yeah. really Seton-esque in its quality, the design, you know, and everything. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna you're gonna have something, you might as well have a nice something nice rather than sort of cheap plastic box. You know? Well, yeah, I mean, there's so many consumer electronics companies that just don't really factor in the design mm. element too. You know, these might as well be pieces of art and not just yeah. uh, not just you know appliances that sit in your living room. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the, the functionality of it is is really nice, and I really like how it sort of pairs up with the with the main unit as well. And yeah, it sort of extends up. And obviously, at, at a core foundation, the Q is you know running media center and this is a media center extender which means that any media center extender today will work the same so xbox 360 or any of the old you know older media center extenders okay they'll right work, yeah. they'll work with the queue as well yeah yeah so that. yeah so if you've got a, a 360 in the games room or whatever you can yeah. yeah you can extend that as well yeah and you'll get the theming on that as well all oh, right yeah you won't get the cool new internet streaming functionality because we own this experience yeah. we don't own the xbox but you will get the yeah. theming right which is, which is cool as well so we really talked about customers today that have a home theater pc uh that want extenders throughout their house and they want to take this premium cable television movies music and, and bring it you also have customers that don't either have anything or you know, want to upgrade and get rid of their home theater pc or their set-top box from their cable company and that's where the Q comes in and pairs with, you know, we think amazingly with the Echo mm. or with, you know, the, the millions of people that own an Xbox 360 yeah. that can also use it as an extender. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, which is great. You know, we haven't really stopped there either. So we thought uh, these are great beginnings and, mm. and, you know, this is definitely inside your house, right? So you have screens all over your house. Uh, we also have screens on the go and also just mm. lying around your house, right? We have tablets now and obviously uh, smartphones are you know, with us everywhere we go. Mine's in my pocket, everyone's sitting out of the <laughs> couch, right? You know, we can't live without them anymore. Yeah. So we thought about a lot of different scenarios that I'll kind of run through as well as, is how do we take this experience that we have on the television and how do we take this 10-foot experience and really bring it to a, a one-foot experience, right? right. And, and customize that experience uh, for our users. So a few things I'll show, and the first thing I'll bring up is uh, the phone app that we're working mm. on. So, and I've brought it up on the emulator here for Windows Phone, so you can record see, up yeah. there. It's nice and big. Yeah, that's nice, yeah. Um, so we decided, we call these our companion devices. So mm -hmm. when I was talking about that the Q is kind of like this epicenter, this hub of an entertainment experience, it's doing a lot more that we haven't talked about. It's really pulling in a lot of metadata. It's talking to all these service providers that we're working closely with uh, to bring all this rich content to you. And we can leverage that in a way that we can now bring it to your devices. Right. So your devices can now call home, or when you're in the home, just talk directly to your queue and get all this information about you know the movies and stuff you're recording, the, the movies that you have, the television shows, and anything else that just happened to be that we can get from these online providers. So we take a look at like the queue companion here, and obviously this is the emulator, but it's, it's really yep. running on a phone. I rest assured I'll show it to you. Uh, but we think about these as, as hubs, as central stations um, 
on the applications. So you really have a now section so that we know, you know, what's recording right now, what's coming up. Ah, you know, right? Good. What's yeah. newly available? You know, let me just use a remote. You know, mm -hmm. from my phone because a lot of people want to. You know, maybe can't find their remote, or you know, don't even you know really love their remote. Yeah. So they just want to you know remotely control their devices as well. But when you flip through these different hubs, you have television. So you know, television is dedicated towards what's going on in TV. You know, with your your galleries, you're managing your recordings. Movies are customized around movies and music hmm. um, and, and, and things like that. We can add these, these hubs and their live rich data so you can see, you know, there's new information like, you know, you have updates. So not only do we have this experience of these live tiles and things feeling live, but you're also getting more information just by glancing at your Yeah, phone. that's it. I mean, that's um, the number of times I have to fire up the media center to have a look at what I'm <laughs> make sure that I've you know, recording the program I'll set up recording. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we think about like, you know, intuitiveness of just, you know, scheduling your um, your series, right? You want it to be intuitive. So oh. here we have like our series that we're recording and we can simply drag and drop around, you know, the priority. Of course, or, yeah, because you've got the phone, it's really nice. It's a, yeah, it's yeah. touch centric, right? Yeah. Uh, or, you know, we think about the ability of I'm on the bus, you know, I take the bus and, and I'm away and I want to see, am I scheduling House Hunters tonight mm. or am I, am I, what am I scheduling tonight when I get home, it will be ready to watch. Well, now I can just view, look at all my scheduled recordings and maybe I really didn't want to watch it and I just go ahead and delete mm. it. And it's going to go home to, you know, talk to Q and just go ahead and get that information to it, which is really great and it's just, yeah. you know, information at your fingertips. Uh, so... One of the other scenarios, you know, we're talking about going and pulling up media, you know, pulling up the guide, pulling up, you know, uh, and trying to browse. It, it's a great experience, we think, at 10 feet, but the touch-centric of phones and tablets just makes everything quicker and faster, yeah. right? So we think about a scenario when you're at home and maybe you're watching sports, right, and you want to schedule a recording or you want to, you know, browse and see what's coming up next. Uh, my scenario that I came up with is around the holidays. I'm at home with the family, and everyone's watching movies. And you know, uh, you know, I don't want to go into the the guide and see what's next, or you know, figure out what movie I want to watch next after this one's over. So, what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to go to like my gallery. I want to see what content is available to me. So, for instance, here inside of our television gallery, uh, we have. You know everything that's available to me, either if it's recorded or if it's online or it's anywhere else. Uh, so if I just want to watch Castle, for instance, next, I'm getting rich metadata as well here. So I'm getting synopsis, I'm getting the year, the the cover art. Mm. I'm also getting episode list, right? So at a glance, I'm getting all this information about all all the show details, and you know. We'll have a lot more here, like if, you, if you've seen it, if you watched it. Mm. But if you even go into details, right, we talk about search and discoverability. So when we ship these applications with the queue, not only will you have the synopsis and the cast and actors, but you can imagine here, if you just come up and you tap Nathan Fillion, right? right. Now you're going to go to everything Nathan Fillion's been in, anything that's yeah. available to you, right? Yeah. So Firefly, Castle, things like that. So it's just this discoverability yeah. of your content. So now I don't have to go to you know Google or wherever and browse and try to find out everything Nathan Fillion's in. You know, we can just ask Q and Q will tell yeah. us you know what he's been in. And so any device that the Q can communicate to, whether it be your phone, whether it be your Xbox 360, or you know your Echo that's up in the bedroom, you can go ahead and simply select it on the television. You have oh, okay, Castle yeah, running. That, yeah. Right? So you can think of the scenario here where, you know, it's a full machine with m true multi-room. Mm. And we brought multi-room to the phone almost, if you think about it. So I could start watching a movie downstairs, and it's getting late, so I want to go up to the bedroom. Mm. You know, cause and you've always, be got, your recent, you've always got your phone with you. You've always got your phone with you. It'll be in your recently watched. Yeah. You click on it, and you say, go ahead and play it in my bedroom. It's as simple as that, you know. So there's a whole lot more in here besides, you know, guide, movies... Uh, and everything more. So if we even check out like uh, movies in search, right? So we think about search and that discoverability is everything is a universal search. Mm. You can obviously customize your search if you yeah. want to do, you have a lot of options, but if you just wanted to search everything and you start typing in, um, you know, 
anything that starts with ST, you get Castle and Star Wars and Toy yeah. Story and and anything that's available to you. You know, we pull back all this stuff, and obviously there's even you know a channel, History Channel, right? Right. Yeah. So we're pulling in not only your your guide, your movies, your television, and all these online um, resources available to us. Um, but we feel like the addition that this this guide and your recorded television and live television is what's really important to us because there's a reason that you pay all this money to your cable provider every month to get tele you know yeah. to get television yeah so we really think that that's really essential to bringing all of that together in one spot and we don't really feel that that's been done um, fully before. Mm. We feel like this whole experience really pulls it together. So from your phone, you can browse, have a look at what you've recorded, or all your content, and say, okay, let's watch that, and we'll watch it in the bedroom and send it through there. Exactly, yep. Yeah. Just, it's a one button click, boom, start watching yeah. right wherever you want. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, you know, it's depending on where it can put it, so there's like that customized list. So you mm. pick the content, we'll show you where it's from, and where you can play it to. Mm. Because obviously not all pro, you know services can be played everywhere. Yeah. You know, some things just can't be played to your phone. Yeah. So but that's the idea of, of that. And that universal search and discoverability. Because mm. you, know, you think of the situation that you're out at like a sports bar, you know, we're out at the bar, you know, drinking. Someone says, oh, have you seen this new movie, you know, Crazy Stupid Love? And, you know, I'm like, no, I haven't seen it yet. That sounds cool. I just go into my universal search and I say, you know, give me Crazy Stupid Love. And I click on it. Where's it from? Can I can I buy it? Can I watch it on this service? You know, can I record it? Is it on HBO tonight? Who knows? So I don't care where I'm getting it from. I just want to bookmark it, you know, and say, when I get home or it's recorded, it's good to go. I just yeah. want to watch it. I just think it's yeah. really powerful. So, uh, and and obviously we, we're showing Windows Phone here today, but at launch we'll t we'll have all the major platforms. So. Right. So Android, iOS, you know, between mobile and tablet, and obviously Windows 8 when it launches as well. Excellent. So, and we'll give a quick demo as well yep. of the tablet. So I'll switch this over as well to the to the television. And this is the uh, the original build. So this is the developer yep. preview, obviously, uh, of Windows 8. So what we've done is gone ahead and created a custom early. This is super early special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sneak okay, peek, basically, they? of of what we feel could be an experience on the tablet of bringing yeah. these same elements that we've seen on the phone, but also bringing them to a tablet form. So you take this idea of a, a swipe approach where I'm basically just swiping across my content, whether it be television, movies, or music, and simply easily in browsing it. So mm. we take that experience, but we have a lot more real estate to work with. So, for instance, when you go in and you want to browse your movies, um, you have a lot more at you. So, you know, as we browse on the phone, you can see a little bit and you can browse and there's different ways to customize. But now you're just really scrolling through all your movies at, at a touch of a, That's a, really nice. of a finger. So yeah. it's just, you know, smooth and seamless. And we'll obviously have a lot of different search capabilities because there's a lot of different ways to get at this different content. Mm -hmm. And this, again, is very early. <laughs> On, but you get that same idea that you have you have available from services and you have a lot of rich detail here and then the actors and writers and producers and everything will just be clickable and take you to everything that they mm. have right and the same thing here it's in my collection when I hit play um, this one I'll just start playing right on my, my on my cue yep. so you can see yep, now we're over there, yep. days of summer yep. like that movie concept I just want to watch the movie yeah so you can so. sit on the sofa with your Windows 8 tablet, browse your contents, okay, watch that over there. Exactly. There you go, yeah. Yeah. And that way, you know, if, if you're at home and you're, you know, people are already watching television, you don't have to interrupt that experience. Yeah. It's making it seamless, you know, inside or outside your house at a 10 foot or a 1 foot or less yeah. interface. I, mean, I, I notice as well how well the. You've got the the Windows 8 up on the on the TV there, and how good it looks. Yeah, <laughs> just a, it, as a 10 foot experience as well. A really yeah. nice UI that design. There. That is one thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm as a as a developer, me personally, I'm a pretty big Metro fan as well. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, we really think that you know, 
the users of each device, you know, were customize it around their experience. So mm -hmm. if you're on iOS, you know, you expect an iOS experience yeah. and Android and Android experience. Because mm -hmm. there's a reason people buy those devices. You know, we feel the same. There's a reason that, you know, I have both a Windows phone and an Android phone and, you know, for different purposes mm -hmm. and how I like them as well. Yeah. You know, not everyone's the same. So those experiences will be custom. And yeah, it does actually look actually pretty good. As yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> not going to lie. So... And, and that really pulls it all together so you have that, yeah. you know, all the experiences throughout your home and outside your home, inside so, and out. So, yeah, we, so you've got your Windows phone, iPhone, Android, you've got your Xbox connected up, extenders, the main system, you've got the whole the whole thing all connected together. Yeah, yeah it's really a completely yeah. uh, connected device ecosystem. And right? using cable card means you get the premium content as well. Yeah, that's the key, like mm -hmm. I was talking about, really, is mm -hmm. obviously with Infinite TV and the Q, you know, unlocking that potential with premium content, television content, throughout everywhere. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think it's really impressive and I think as a whole home solution it's it's ideal, you know, just yeah. it's exactly what you want. Yeah. And this and so, you know, we think about it, you know, uh, is that this is what we would want at home, so as we mm. oh we're gonna do, you know, and, and we don't have any we, we just want it to work and mm. work great, you know, we don't have any, you know, we're not trying to make money and nickel and dime you, and like all these devices, and you know, like the Echo and the Q, the big thing there is there's no DVR tax. Mm. Like we were talking about is, you know, you're not paying anything extra for each of those right. devices, you know, if you're buying an Echo or the Q, you're not paying monthly fees yeah. uh, just to have those devices in your yeah. home, which is great, it's a cost saving. Yeah, so. absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and so you're saying so this this technology is sort of in the next 12 months that we're going to start to roll out exactly right now we're not in, announcing any mm -hmm. official details as far as pricing or dates but you know we are saying 2012 is, is when these are ready so if, when you took a look and you and you, you take a look at the hardware thing this is near final uh, mm -hmm. hardware the software and the apps obviously that we're really previewing mm -hmm. just the potential of where we're going with yeah. the, the apps uh, so you could expect these features uh, and more or less. There's a set of core functions and features that obviously are the mm. most important, and that's what will be a great experience. It's it's better to have, you know, 16 or you know, 10 or 5 great experiences than 100 that, you yeah, know, or whatever, yeah. right? And the great thing about all these connected devices, whether it be a Q or an Echo or any of these applications on your on your devices, is that they all can be upgradable. They're all connected mm. at any time. So, you know, we're obviously work hard and listen to our customers to get you the features that you yeah. want, that you're craving. So, because we'll probably want them to. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we can't think of everything. Yeah. We try to. <laughs> so. well, I, think, I think it's a fantastic sort of ecosystem you've built in there with the media center in there as well, which uh, takes it back sort of to, to the roots of the... <laughs> yeah. And I think that everything hooks together. The the, um, the Windows 8 stuff looks great, the phone and everything else. So I think it's really impressive, and I'm looking forward to sort of uh, see how this progresses over the next 12 months. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Thanks a lot.